What's up, guys? This is Ryan from Gamers Therapy. Uh, since I posted a video yesterday saying that I was, you know, that I suffer from anxiety and depression, I thought it might be cool for myself um, and maybe whoever watches the video um, to say that uh, this morning I woke up pretty anxious. I sent out a tweet saying, you know, hopefully I get more followers on YouTube and uh, more followers on the blog. Uh, the blog jumped up 10. You know, so big thanks to everybody who has come across. That's people in South Africa, that is people in the world, you know, all the support uh, is great. And those 200 people, even if it's just 200 people, you know, that's fine. That's cool. I'd like to try and keep it growing, but it, 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 it is appreciated that, uh, that you do it or, or, that, or that you follow me. So thanks. Um, so I'm... Um, I went to a client just now, my first call of the morning. Uh, normally every Friday I go to a maintenance client that I have, uh, which is about 80 kilometers out of town. And my boss called me and said, listen, you know, there's uh, another client that I went to during the week that's battling with a different problem. Can you please go there and sort it out? So I was like, okay, cool. Now normally I don't like doing that because I, I, I end up getting stuck at, um, at my maintenance client. Uh, for, for a couple of hours not stuck but I mean there, there's always stuff to do there you know so I spend like maybe three hours and it's an hour drive there hour drive back you know so if you're wasting four or five hours on one client um, so you know I went to the client and it was quite a hard thing they've got their own IT guys that are uh, based not even locally in another town somewhere uh, it's actually in Joburg so about 900 800 900 kilometers away um, and sorry I'm just waiting for this guy to pass because he's driving up my ass like a jackass go on go on pass you fucking moron dick anyway sorry about that uh, just remember that these videos are uncut and, and unedited alright so um, the whole point of this video was that I woke up anxious this morning um my boss called me, told me to go through to another client before I go through a maintenance client. And they've got their own IT. Okay, I've said all that stuff. And they have this printer. I think it was a HP 8610 um, office jet thing that they're connecting to the server. Every client there is connecting through uh, a server, like a remote desktop connection type of, type of situation. Um, and for some reason, they, uh, they've got Windows, Windows 2008, uh, R2 64-bit, and whenever they installed this printer on there, they could only use a universal print driver, and for some reason it was causing all the computers that are connecting to this printer through the server to print garbage, or well, not even garbage, it's like a, when they try to print an invoice, it's this black background with white writing uh, kind of thing all over it, and you know, that's technically not our job, you know, I mean, because we... Like as an IT guy going in to this type of environment, they already have their own IT guys um, in Joburg that are supposed to sort these things out. Um, and they couldn't solve it, so, you know, they, they called us. And when I spoke to the IT guy, he, he wasn't very helpful. I mean, but in his defense, you know, he, I think he had been battling with his printer you know, probably for the last couple of days, you know, so I feel him, I know what it's like to get frustrated and all the rest of it. Um, he explained the situation and he's definitely got a, a, a problem with that server because even if you download the correct drivers that are for the server operating system, it still just won't connect. It says that the operating system isn't valid. I don't know if that's got to do with an update or not, but you know, besides the point now. Um, I ended up solving the client, or uh, sorting the problem out though. Well, not actually sorting it out, but uh, creating a workaround for it. Um, there was one computer that wasn't going through this remote desktop connection, it was connected directly onto their network. So I was able just to share the printer out from that computer and hook up another, or hook up one computer at least to that printer so that they can print their invoices because they got a really big meeting that is probably happening now. So, and like I said, I felt anxious when I, when I started my day this morning and I was getting anxious at that call because I knew this was important to them that it got fixed. And I managed to sort it out. Their IT guy in Joburg couldn't sort it out, but I was able to sort it out. And 
I, I, know that, that I, I know that's probably coming off as arrogant. That's not my intention. It's just, I, you know, give credit where credit is due. I sort out a problem that an IT guy that they are paying for couldn't sort out. I'm not saying I'm the best IT guy. In fact, I am probably one of the worst IT guys out there. <laughs> and I mean, that might just be my, self, my lack of self-confidence talking. But that is the case. Or at least I think, I think that's the case. I'm probably like a low-level tier IT guy. And I was able to sort it out. So, you know, I feel pretty good about it. And, you know, it's, it's the little things in life that you have got to appreciate. You know? It, take the victories. Don't, don't just palm it off. Don't just like, oh, it's, it's nothing. No, don't worry about it. No. You sorted something out that somebody else could Take the victory. Take it. Why not? And I did. And I feel good about that. That's nice. So, yeah. I just want to update people. Currently, I'm driving to my maintenance client, the out-of-town one. Uh, I'm listening to Eminem at the same time. I'm having a really good day. I love listening to some Eminem. Uh, I've got Spotify going on my phone. Awesome. So, yeah. I'll probably uh, keep up with you guys later. Oh, well, this video will only get uploaded later, so... We'll see what happens tomorrow. Maybe I'll put up another video or not. I don't know. But please share with your friends. Uh, you can follow me at Gamers Therapy on Twitter. Uh, check out my blog for now. Hopefully if I get enough viewers and some funding, I can turn it into a site, uh, which is www.gamerstherapy.wordpress.com. Um, you can also follow me on, on Instagram at Gamers Therapy 8607. There's also a Facebook page that I've got, uh, facebook.com forward slash Gamers Therapy. I feel like I'm leaving something out, but I think those are all the important ones. Uh, so yeah, if you know anybody that suffers from social anxiety disorder, anxiety disorder, depression, bipolar, all the mental health problems that you can think of, somebody that's going through a rough time, point them to my channel. I'm open, I can speak. Every now and then, I, well, I mean, actually pretty often, I might come up with a, a guide that I'll speak about and, you know, give you guys some information that's helped me personally. It might not work for you. Anyway, I've got to go because I'm concentrating so hard on the video now that I don't, I don't want to wind up in another accident. All right. Another accident. Okay. It's a story for another time. Later.